What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is going to be showing how to make a police station, this is a remake as, you know, I guess expected. Um, I've done a lot of remakes recently, that's because I do have a lot of old builds that I do want to redo, and I don't really have a lot of suggestions, so if you do have any, feel free to leave them in the comments. But, uh, I will show you the old one really quick, here's the old one, and, oh my god, I don't like this. I'm not the biggest fan of this one either, but it's it's like it's the design is there, but I wouldn't say that the execution is there for my this should probably be extended across though. Like I'd probably put it all the way to the end instead. Just to kinda give it a little bit more shape. I'll try that on the other one. We'll see, or on the tutorial, we'll see. I will ideally be making the interior for this, because this one's gonna be a bit of a doozy. It's a huge building. And right when I go inside the dark room, it gets ominous noises. Nice. Uh, I'll just show you around the build. But it's it's not my favorite, but it's definitely better than the old one. The old one is very bad, and it's almost too simple. And also, um, I ended up adding the white concrete like trim around the top section at the end, so I didn't decide not to fill this in with white concrete. It actually does look good like that. Cause you can like it kind of makes everything look separate and it adds more shape to it just from the top not that it matters because no one will see it the problem the only problem with this is like you have to be all the way out like here to see what it says I mean I guess yeah you could kind of figure out okay yeah that says what is that <laughs> not like that that you kind of can't really read you could say a few different things also I did change how the peat looks Anyways, space this is a 46 by 33 now. I would leave an extra block or so because I don't remember if that's 46 or 47 and uh, I'm too lazy to double count. So, <laughs> and the materials we're needing are brick block, dark oak door, black stained glass pane, White concrete, that's not concrete, that's concrete. Blue concrete. Black stained glass blocks. Acacia door. Block of quartz or smooth quartz. I'm going to go with smooth quartz. And smoother block of quartz stairs and also or smooth quartz or quartz stairs and also quartz slab or smooth quartz slab starting from the front of the right hand corner of your 46 by 33 grid cough cough if you made it you want to count back by six and count left by one and going back you or no going left you want to place six brick block Let's just work on this section for now because I would rather do this one section at a time than do it all at once. Okay, so. Then what you want to do is you want to go left to right or right to left on top of that. doesn't matter. And you want to place brick block. Black stained glass pane. Two brick block. Black stained glass pane. Brick block. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place three rows of brick on top of that. I turned down my volume a little bit. It's being loud. Then going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. Place a brick block. Black stained glass pane. Two brick blocks. Black stained glass pane. Brick block. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place a row of brick on top. Turn it down a tad bit more. You then want to bring this section back on the right block by 24. With brick. So the entire section. Double 
and make sure it is actually 24. I was almost positive it was, but sometimes when I'm positive, I'm still wrong, so. Also, I will be streaming again tomorrow, so. If you want to be there for that, then please do. Okay, so if you're at the back of the build now, you want to bring the bottom block of this brick left by s five. Sorry, not six. If you're, that's if for you from the inside of the build. So if you're looking towards nothing, basically. But if you're looking towards the front, it'd be right. Then going on top of that from the wall that we have going towards the open side, you want to place black stained glass pane. Two brick block. Black stained glass pane. Brick block. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place three rows of bricks on top of that. And then going left to right from my perspective, so from where you have the wall to the open side, you want to place black stained glass pane, two brick block, black stained glass pane, brick block. Copy that row one more time again. And you want to place a row of brick block on top of that. There is one section done. Okay, so from the back now, you want to come to the inside of this section. So, like, basically you can see, okay, it's going to get confusing here, the difference between, difference between the front and the back. The wall is at the right side. The flat blank brick wall is at the right side. So you should be on the inside looking towards the back section. So you should have the brick, bolt, brick wall to your right. You want to go back diagonal left by one from this brick section. You want to place a white concrete. You then want to bring it back one. Left by seven. And that's actually all you want to do. Going on top of that section in the same pattern, you want to place two white concrete here at the right side. Go left with one. There's four black stained glass panes, two white concrete. Copy that row one more time. I need to double check to make sure. Which I am lucky I did because it is not five. You want to place six rows of white concrete on top of that. I love when I get a text message saying E. And then you want to go on the same pattern around on top of this, and you want to place two white concrete here at the left side. And going left, you want to place six black stained glass panes and a white concrete. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place two rows of white concrete on top of that. Okay, let's continue along the back. So again, come to the inside, so you should be looking towards that white concrete section now. And you want to, at the bottom left, you want to place a blue concrete in front of it. You want to bring it left by 19. And then you want to bring it up with 15 rows of blue concrete. Wait, is it 15 or is it 17? Okay, it's 17, my bad. 17 rows of blue concrete. So it should be 5 rows taller than the white concrete section. And you want to do that for this entire wall. Okay. 
if you want, actually I'll finish this and I'll say it. Okay, as I was saying, if you want, you can extend this white concrete section right by six rows. So it goes over the top of the white concrete and goes all the way to basically the second to last block, which is where it will be sitting on. Um, I will do that just so you can get a grasp at how it looks compared to the other one. So I'd say you can leave it off for now. But, yeah. So it's going to look similar to this, which it probably won't be the exact same. Now when I come to the bottom left hand corner of the blue concrete, we're going to move four dang left and place a brick block. Bring it left by ten. Forward by twenty-four. Right with four bricks. Dark oak door. Five brick block. Now you want to go from front. Okay, so basically ignore the. Pretend like the left and the back don't exist for right now. Going left to right or right to left on this front row does not matter. You want to place brick. Two brick block or one? Let me. Give me a sec. Two brick block, black stained glass pane, two brick block, skip over the door, two brick block, black stained glass pane, two brick block. Copy that row one more time, except you want to place a brick block over the door. And then you want to place three rows of bricks on top of that. The going left to right or right to left on top of that does not matter. You want to place two brick block, black stained glass pane, two brick block, black stained glass pane, two brick block, black stained glass pane, two brick block. Copy that row one more time. Uh, how? I literally broke every single brick block, but I didn't break the pane. And then you want to copy that row one more time. Or no, you want to place a row of brick on top of that. Sorry. You should already have it copied one more time. Okay, so. The left and the back of this brick section. You want to place. Eight rows of brick block on top of that. So basically you should just have a flat left wall and a flat back wall. They should be completely blank. The blue and the, okay, the two left sections are blank on the back. The two right sections have windows on the back. And then the sides are both blank. Just like that. Alright, so now we basically have this front middle section left, which is the hardest part. And, um, yeah, I'll be back in a moment so we can do that. Alright, so, take out your blue concrete and you want to come to the left side. So, you have the two brick sections, the, kind of, they're both the same height, but the, you got the, like, the tall, or the skinnier one, and you got the fatter one. Come to the, uh, fatter one with the door. And you want to, from the front or the bottom right hand corner, then you want to move four dang your right when place a blue concrete. Bring it right by four. 
I'm gonna back down your right with a black stained glass block. Bring it right by three. And place two dark oak door. You don't even need the acacia door. Get rid of the acacia door and get out smooth quartz slabs or normal. So two dark oak doors. Two black stained glass blocks. Two dark oak door. Four black stained glass block. Blue concrete. Bring it forward with a blue concrete. And then forward with five white concrete. Copy that row two more times, except instead of placing more doors, you want to place just black stained glass blocks above the doors. One black stained glass block, not two. Then you want to place a row of blue concrete on top of the blue concrete and wants to go over the black stained glass blocks, kind of like diagonally in front of it, just like that. So it should create a little bit of a layer of depth so the doors are pushed back. I always do that now. I never used to do that. Anything old around here? Okay, well, the I think I legitimately think this has exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, no, not really. Does I think Denny's might. Oh no, but Chick-fil-A does. Where is the door? Oh, there's the door. I'm pretty sure Chick-fil-A does. There's gotta be something around here. Oh, Pharmacy, I know it does, though. Yeah, like, how it... I didn't used to push it back. It's, like, flush against the wall. I don't know why. I don't like that anymore. Okay, no, that doesn't... I think Pharmacy... Yeah, Pharmacy does have it. Good to know. Like, it just... You can kind of see. I think Baskin Robbins also has it. And so does Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts doesn't. But still. back to building you then want to place another row of blue concrete on top of that blue concrete and then going left to right you want to place five blue concrete 14 black stained glass panes and a blue concrete Copy that row one more time. And you want to place a row of blue concrete on top of that. Okay, come to the top left hand block of the window and go to the blue concrete above it. You want to count left by three and you want to place a white concrete. Just like that. Bring it forwards by three. And then you want to connect it to the right and down so it should connect to the white concrete, just like that. Oh no, it needs to go forward another block, sorry. So you have that row of white concrete, you just want to place another row in front of it. That'll actually make things easier. But yeah, and you can also just fill in this, like, left section here with the white concrete and with white concrete. Just like that. Okay, so come to the front left-hand corner of this little overhang thing. And you want to move inward down your right by one, which you should have a block in. If you don't, then place a block there. And then you want to connect that down to the ground with white concrete. just like that you want to basically at the top of this you want to fill it in with white concrete just so you have like a flat little floor this wasn't as confusing as I thought it would be it still might be a little bit but I thought I was gonna be struggling with this all right so this might be confusing to explain but if you look at what I'm gonna do it won't be very confusing Okay, so you have this, like, seven of white concrete with the little, like, support pole here on the left. Come to the right side of it where you have the blank wall connecting to the blue concrete, and you want to come to the right side of it. And then you want to bring it right with six, 
it's no, it's an odd number. Seven, no, five white concrete. It was seven. Okay, so bring that bottom block right with seven white concrete. Sorry, I didn't know that. You then want to go left or right on top of that, and you want to place a white concrete. Four black stained glass panes. Two white concrete. Also, yeah, this build is huge. Like, comparing it, if we go to the uh, old one and we look on, like, towards it, it's so much, even though it's so much in the distance, it's so much bigger. Which is definitely not, I think the fire station was a decent, I don't even know where the fire, uh, no, that's not the fire station, never mind. Fire station isn't near here, I don't think. I think it's on the other side of the museum, or the mansion. Oh yeah, that reminded me of something, which I'll talk about in the at the end. You want to copy that row one more time? And place six rows of white concrete on top of that. So it should peak just above the level of the floor slash roof area. You then want to bring that white concrete all the way to the left and back, just on top of the white concrete. Pretend like the blue just doesn't exist for now. Going right to left on top of this, you want to place two white concrete. And the rest of the row wants to be black stained glass panes, including this left side here. Just like that. So it looks like a balcony right now. But, you want to copy that row one more time. Place a row of white concrete on top of that. <clears throat> Alright, so once you do this, you'd have something that looks like this. You don't want to bring that white concrete up a row. So you should have two rows of white concrete. Sorry, I said you only needed to place one, but you do need to place two. You don't want to bring the back right hand or back left hand corner of white concrete. You want to bring it all the way to the right and connect it forward so you should touch to the other white concrete. And then you want to fill in the top of this with white concrete. Just like that. And the entire right side wants to be brought down to the ground with white concrete. Now, okay, so you should have this. Notice how you have this little one block crevice. You just want to bring the whole entire row of white concrete backward a block. You do not have to worry about the top because it won't matter at all. And then you want to take the top three rows of white concrete at the right side and you want to connect them together front and back. Okay, come back to the front. Come to the left side of the white concrete section where the and, and the edge of the blue concrete. You want to bring the left three rows of blue concrete up by ten rows. So it should be five rows taller than the white concrete as it is on the back. You then want to bring those top five rows all the way to the right and back until it touches this blue concrete corner. I'm not going to give you measurements because I'm not 100% sure of the exact numbers, and also they may, may be different for you. So basically, it. So I just bought this back right hand corner, I brought it all the way forward, and I'll bring this um, bottom right hand corner at the front all the way to the right. And then just place the rows of blue concrete on top of that until you reach the top. Guess I'm skipping a row. <laughs> so yeah, I will show you how it looks for both. It will be again. It will be a little bit different. I'll show you how mine looks because I did extend mine. Um, I'm assuming this might look better, but uh, you can compare it to yours and figure it out which you prefer. I think I'll prefer this one. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely prefer that. That's so much better. Because, like, okay, I'll show you the finished product. 
it's so just small. It just doesn't feel right with the proportions of it. But I think that that gives it more of that modern, like, feel. And the kind of proportion properly feel. The right side should also be filled in, by the way. Alright, let's do the letters, shall we? Okay, so, if you did not extend it with the six rows or however long, you just want to, from the, basically, the row above the row of white concrete, that row of blue concrete, you want to count up one and right by one. So you should be on this block. However, if you did extend it, you want to go up one and right by, I believe, three. No, I think it's right by four. Yeah, it's right by four. So, and then you want to place the um, block of course. Bring it up by two. Right with an upside down smooth quartz slab. Upside down, if I didn't say that already, I think I did. Then a normal quartz stair. Down with an upside down quartz stair, and then left with, an ups with a normal slab. There's your P. Leave a three block F in the bottom of this, and you want to place an upside down quartz stair facing left. With a block of quartz on top and a quartz stair on top of that. Bring that right with a block of quartz. Quartz stair. Down with a block of quartz. Upside down quartz stair and then left with a block of quartz. Just like that. We have one block after the bottom of that and you want to place three blocks of quartz. One on top of the other. And then the bottom block wants to go right by one. Just like that. If a one block I mean you want to do the same thing, just placing three v vertical blocks of quartz. I always get those confused. <laughs> As you probably know very well. Leave a one block out from the bottom and then you want to place an upside down smooth quartz stair. Bring it right with a block. Go back to that stair and bring it up with a block. Up with a stair and then right with a block. We have a one block half in the bottom of that, and you want to place a quartz stair facing right. And then two ups and down quartz stairs facing right on top of that. Bring every stair right with its re respective slab. So you should have something that looks similar to this. It might look like this, or it might look similar to this minus the white concrete trim on the top and also on the tops of the sides. Yeah, that definitely looks so much better. It also makes the text feel a little bit less overpowering. Above, okay, so, you want to basically, the top, one, two, three, the top eight rows of blue concrete, the left you want to connect together. You don't need that ninth one. You can if you want, but it's not really required. I probably won't stick in for this final part but I will show you what to do and I'll probably do one of the three sections which will probably be the middle sized section Okay, so you want to take out, once you've done that, you want to take out your white concrete, you want to trim, you want to trim the two brick sections and the blue concrete section with a row of white concrete up diagonally that goes all the way around it. Now, on the brick sections, it will just stop when it hits the blue concrete or the white concrete section, depending on which, uh, brick section it is. So, basically, we'll just hit those and stop, and then the blue concrete section, it will go all the way around. Now I'll do two sections because the bottom two are small and I'll just leave the top one for you to do. Now I will show you what I did for the top section to make it different. If you want to do that, you can just complete, you can just fill it in with flat white concrete. I would. Or you could do what I did and add like sunroofs and stuff with glass. That would also work. Basically once you have done the trims, you want to fill in each section with white concrete in the middle of that, including the little white concrete section, if you do not, if you used it like this, like, okay, it's going to be kind of hard to see because there's so much white here, but, um, like, you kind of have this section, and if you made it shorter, like this section is, 
or like this one is, then you're going to have this. And that just wants to be filled in with white concrete. If you have that. If you don't, then obviously you don't have anything to fill in there. But, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about the thing. So, for those of you... I'm going to turn down my phone a tad more. For those of you who may or may not know... The museum tutorial has been given the crown for most popular video of mine for a while. What it, it basically, it overstruck everything. It took over, like, Hot Cocoa Cup was, the first video it hit a thousand views, the old one. And then everything just hit it after that. Museum is at, I want to say, 7.7 thousand. But, it has finally been passed. I think we have a new champion, and we'll see how long it lasts for, but the Hello Neighbor tutorial, the Hello Neighbor Act 3 tutorial for Minecraft, episode number 1 has, like, 7.9 thousand views. It struck, I saw it, it was like, it's been, I noticed that for, like, a month ago or something, it, I noticed it started to creep up on it, but it, I noticed that, okay, yeah, this video is in contention with it, and it just took it over and passed it, like that, and... <laughs> It's insane. I don't know if that one will ever be passed, honestly. Because it's still growing pretty fast. Like, Museum is growing at a decent pace. But it's definitely, like, slowed down from what it was. Like, it still probably gains, I don't know, 20 or 30 views a day. But that... That has uh, had, like, 7.5, I think, in the morning. And then 7.8. The one day I checked it. Alright, so for the top section, if you want to do what I did on that one, you can just place a row of white concrete directly on top of the blue concrete. And then fill in the center of it with blue concrete, one block lower. Just like that, basically. Um, I will fill in the section, I guess, off recording. Hope I will have to before next episode. But, uh, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, here is the police station I have. I'm gonna get a thumbnail shot for this. But, uh, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your police station updated version complete. Let me know which one you like better, if you like either of them. And, um, yeah, have a... Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this... Oh, I think I said that already. Sorry. Uh, I, I can't... I don't know how to speak. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.